now let us discuss about division operator and the assignment operator in relational algebra first let us see about division operator division operator is denoted by forward slash symbol or general division symbol okay so here the notation for the division operator is let we have two relations such as r1 and r2 so we can write it as r1 by r2 or r1 modulo r1 by r2 general division operator r1 by r2 we can perform division operator only when the query contains all or every so we can use division operator only when the query contains all or every for example we have a query like this find list of students who have registered for all the courses in a particular semester or find the list of students who have registered for every course in a semester or find the list of students who have passed in all the exams in a semester or find the list of students who have passed in every exam in a semester or in place of passed failed so find the list of students who have failed in all the examinations so when we have to use division operator if the if the query contains either all or every then only we have to use division operator okay next here one more important point is we can perform division operator only if r2 is a proper subset of r1 so here r1 is nothing but first relation whereas r2 is nothing but second relation so this is called as proper subset so we can perform division operation only when r2 is a proper subset of r1 if we consider this example so this is r1 this is r2 so r2 is a proper subset of r1 that means proper subset means every attribute of r2 must to present in r1 as well as r2 is not equal to r1 if we consider r2 so here we have only a single attribute attribute values are dbms data structure and computer organization so dbms data structure computer organization so here every attribute of r2 is present in r1 so what is the attribute here course so course is present in r1 what are the attribute values dbms dsco so dbms is present dbms is present ds is present co is present so we can apply division operation on these two relations why because r2 is a proper subset of r1 now let us see uh, what does r1 division r2 will returns what does r1 division r2 will returns r1 division r2 returns attributes which are present in r1 but not present in r2 so here r1 means students division what is r2 r2 means courses so it returns the attributes which are present in r1 but not present in r2 so here course course is present in r2 but if you take name name is not present in r2 so it contains it contains an attribute called name why because name attribute is present in r1 but not present in r2 now let us see what does r1 by r2 will returns it will returns the tuples from r1 which associate with every tuple of the r2 if we consider ramesh so here what are the attribute values what are the tuples dbms ds data structure so ramesh registered for dbms course ramesh registered for data structure course ramesh registered for co course so ramesh registered all the courses so now ramesh will be present in the table whereas if we consider mahesh 
Mahesh registered for DBMS course and CIVO course. So out of three courses, Mahesh registered for only two courses. So, so, so Mahesh won't be displayed in the output. Likewise, if we consider Naresh, so Naresh registered for DBMS course as well as Naresh registered for DS course. So Naresh also out of three courses, only for two courses Naresh registered. So that's why Naresh is also displayed in the output. Naresh doesn't displayed in the output. Okay. So here the output is only Ramesh. Okay. Why? Because Ramesh associated with every tuple of the R2. Okay. So R1 by R2 returns the tuples from R1 which associate with every tuple of the R2. Ramesh registered for all the courses. But so that's why Ramesh is in the output. But Mahesh registered for only two courses out of three courses. As well as Naresh registered for only two courses out of three courses. So that's why we should not write Mahesh and Naresh in the output. So this is about division operator or division operation in relational algebra. Now let us see the next query. The next query is assignment operator. Assignment operation. Assignment operator is denoted by reverse arrow symbol. Reverse arrow symbol. If we have uh, a complex queries, let us assume that we want to perform a division operation on two complex queries. Then instead of writing in a single query, what we can do is, we can write that in a, a simple queries and store the result in a temporary variable. Okay. So let us assume that the first temporary variable is temp1. So here write one query, query1. Store uh, assign query 1 to temp 1. So now temp 1 co contains query 1 result. So instead of writing a complex query, what we are doing? We are writing two simple queries and store the result in temp 1 and temp 2 and then perform the division operation on the temp 1 and temp 2. Okay. Next, uh, let us write uh, second query here, query 2 and assign the result to temp 2. Temp 2. Now let us store the result in RES. So we can write RES arrow. So temp1 division temp2. So instead of writing the query here, what we are doing? We are writing, uh, we are storing the query results in two temporary variables and, uh, and storing the result in the RES. So this is about assignment operator. Assignment operator is mainly useful when we are implementing the complex queries. Instead of writing the complex query, what we can do? We can write two simple queries and perform the division operation. So here for temporary calculation, we have used the temporary variable. So this is nothing but assignment operator. This is about division operation and assignment operation in relational algebra.